So, did you hear it? Reports of a loud boom this morning from Staten Island to northern New Jersey. And tonight we're learning new details of what may have actually caused it. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne has new details. This is the moment when Judah Bergman was working in Lakewood and saw a fireball shoot across the sky. It was long and really, really fast. It looked like a flaming long rod or something like on fire, rod or something like on fire, rod or something like on fire and flying through the sky. Um, it was a little interesting to me that it was almost horizontal, like, like I've Think of meteors and think like they're going straight into the ground. And this one looked like it still has some ways to go. NASA Meteor Watch posted on Facebook that a fireball flew over our area at 1117 Tuesday morning. It was a small meteor they believe traveling at 34,000 miles an hour. And something when it's moving that fast, of course, heats up and it begins to ablate, you know, just like a spacecraft reentering the atmosphere and it produces a lot of light and it generates what we call a fireball. Bill so Cook with NASA's Meteoroid Environments ball. Office says based upon witness reports, the meteor was first sighted at Upper Bay, passed over the Statue of Liberty, passed over the Statue of Liberty, passed over the Statue of Liberty, and disintegrated 29 miles in the air over Midtown. You expect to see a meteor at night, not during the day, so this was a rare daylight fireball. Although Bergman didn't hear a loud sound when he saw the fireball, others did. There was the initial boom, and then like less than a second after that, there was a tremble of the house as if something had hit my roof. Cook says there could be an explanation. We checked infrasound detectors and there was a lot of activity in New Jersey to the south of you and there are some military bases down there. So if the fireball produced a boom, it's kind of lost in all the stuff generated by military activity to your south. Cook says they estimate this fireball was only about a foot across. So given how small it was and how high it was in the air when it disintegrated, he says there is little chance there are any special pieces lying around Manhattan. Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, first wow. of all, I, I, there were so many elements of that piece that I loved. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the people. Feed, the rocket collection. Yeah. All I the know, people right? talked about it. And, of course, in the end, Kristen gets her meteor badge. There's yeah, no doubt about exactly. it. Exactly. But even in this picture, you can see it I mean, came right around here, Statue of Liberty, and then basically disintegrated over parts of Manhattan. Did you hear? 34,000 miles an hour. Pretty incredible. And we thank our atmosphere for protecting us from something like that. Uh, technically, after having more discussions this evening, not an initial surge of the Perseid meteor shower, which is more grains of sand coming in at slower speeds uh, as the Earth passes through the remnants of a, com of a comet called Swift Temple Tuttle. But this one was probably a baseball size, like a rock that came through the atmosphere and caused that daylight fireball. A sight to behold Tuesday above New York City, if you were lucky. Several people said they saw a meteor streak across the sky in New York City, along with a loud boom and shaking buildings. According to NASA, initial reports suggest the daylight fireball passed over the Statue of Liberty before moving west into New Jersey at 38,000 miles an hour. However, NASA officials do say this trajectory is very crude and uncertain adding that the estimations are based on a few eyewitness accounts and there's no camera or satellite data currently available to refine the solution. Okay, as you all probably know, I've been trying to avoid uh, <laughs> trying to avoid dealing with the book of Revelations and in particular prophecies that I myself have made that um, have come to pass the way they have. But um, if you all want to really walk through it again, we have to start with the book of Revelations, not with the 18th chapter, which is what you're talking about, but we have to start with the 17th chapter to understand what took place. And are you ready? Uh -huh. 
Revelation 17. And there came one of the seven angels. That means that, the, as we all know, there are seven archangels. One of those angels come. The angel he's speaking about now is the angel Michael. He said he's going to come. All right? Which had the seven vows or bowls or cups and talked with me. This me is, his name is Yahana or Yachanan Bar Zebedee or John the Beloved saying unto me, come hither, I will show you or thee the judgment. Somebody else want to read? I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many watchers. They're going to show the judgment of this great whore. And they put the Statue of Liberty up. You hear me? And the Statue of Liberty is holding Isaiah 14, 12, a torch in her hand, in the harbor of New York. You there? And out of her head, there are seven thorns. Are you there? And she has in her hand a book. And that book is the Bible, but it's closed. You see, it's like this. Because they are going to lay down, put aside, ignore God's word, and pick up their own words. They're not going to, never will, and ever try to live by the law of God. Not once. They want to live by their own laws. And as I said many times before, they'll hold you and I responsible. Call us a criminal if we pick up the Bible and say, I'm going to live by the word of God and not by the word of man. They'll call us a criminal. If I say I'm going to live by the laws of God and not by the laws of man, they'll call you a criminal. So she's standing there in a the harbor with a Bible in her hand, but it's closed because New York does not live by the laws of God. I'm going to tell you right now what and how you know. We can feel.